It's kind of a weird moment for me because for the last three years, we've woke up, we've made a video about Google Stadia for almost every day. Now that Stadia is dead, it's like I thought I would wake up and the world would feel a little bit different, but somehow we're still here just making videos about Google Stadia. Are you listening? All right, welcome back to the Nerf Report. If you're just now joining us, last week, Stadia was brutally murdered through a blog post. Most employees apparently found out 30 minutes before the public. Every developer was pretty much blindsided by the news, even with some of them saying like, dude, I was actively porting my game and it was supposed to be launching in the next couple of weeks. And meanwhile, probably my favorite part of this entire story, the CEO of Google on the same day that he shut down Stadia is out there tweeting about sponsoring an F1 race team, which don't worry, I googled how much it costs to sponsor an F1 team and Red Bull and Oracle paid about $300 million over the course of five years. And look, I'm aware Google is actively trying to cut budgets, but the fact that sponsoring a race car that literally just drives in circles somehow made the cut and Stadia got killed. I mean, I'm literally just a guy who films a show in his garage, but that math doesn't really add up for me. Now granted, the Alphabet Company is probably like a trillion dollar organization by now. However, I am willing to be the bigger man and give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, maybe Google really needs the money right now. I mean, why else would they be selling the original Google Stadia GDC announcement display on eBay, which you can buy right now for roughly about $2,000? That's right. The very same display which compared Stadia to the Nintendo Power Glove, the Sega Dreamcast, and of course, the copy of E.T. though, oh my god. It was in front of us the entire time. The Nintendo Power Glove was cool, but it was really way too complicated to set up. The Dreamcast marks Sega's last console which failed to gain traction in the market, and E.T. the game, of course, is often attributed as the game which caused the video game crash of 1983, and Stadia, Stadia has, uh, Phil Harrison. Now, all jokes aside, the closing of Stadia has raised one major question among the Stadia player base. What the hell's next? Well, we do know that Stadia will remain active until January 18th of 2023, and Google will be issuing refunds for all purchases made, including games, add-ons, DLCs, and hardware purchases. Notably missing is Stadia Pro, and this is just my opinion here. Pro is the only thing that Google can quantifiably prove that was sold and received, making it it's less likely that they could suffer from a lawsuit. I mean, in the case of games, hardware, DLC, and all of that, I think Google wanted to do the refund because there was definitely a potential for class action there. And speaking of hardware, Google's abandonment of Stadia also affects their controllers as well, as the Stadia controllers don't really support Bluetooth and they connect via Wi-Fi. So once Stadia shuts down, the controller effectively becomes a nice paperweight, which to the credit of the Stadia community, they've already started a petition asking Google to bring Bluetooth to the Google Stadia controllers, which at the time of recording this currently has 67 people. 67 people have signed this. Jesus Christ. Now, I will say, over the weekend, I was reached out to by Gadgets Kev over on Twitter, who essentially said they've talked to Google and a Bluetooth fix is being looked at internally. However, there are no promises, but the team is at least exploring options. However, until then, I would love to hear, what are you planning on doing with your Stadia controller? The majority of my Stadia controllers are probably going into storage, but my custom Hydro Dip Stadia controller, I'm probably gonna be doing something special with this because I've got some really good memories with this one. Now, another big point to make here is that between now and January 18th, if you plan on continuing your gameplay experience, please back up your Stadia data. Right now, through Google Takeout, users can access their save files and use them on Stadia or the Epic Game Store. And to do that, users simply have to go to Takeout, find the Stadia section, select it, hit export, and download your files. Within that zip file, you'll have access to all of your game saves, and then you can import those into whatever service you decide to go to next on PC. And that leads us perfectly into the question of where do I game next? And honestly, I'm probably gonna be going on that journey with you. I mean, I already use services like Xbox Cloud Gaming and Luna, but Stadia was always my go-to platform for gaming. So here on this channel, we're gonna be exploring a lot of different cloud options and I want to try them all. I, I wanna have the people working on these services on the channel for interviews and I wanna continue pushing cloud gaming and help this vertical get to the point where it's not cloud gaming, it's just 
gaming. Because whether or not Google Stadia is involved in the conversation, that is what we've been talking about here, right? It's hard to deny that cloud gaming will inevitably be the future for a ton of gamers, and I want to be a part of that journey.